So let's see how a unit root uh, looks like in R. So I will be uh, loading this data frame here. This has sales over a couple of years at the monthly level. So if I print this, I see that this series seems to have a, a stable level, but after a shock, the series uh, drifts away. So that's something that we typically see when we have random walks. After a shock, the series goes completely crazy and it goes to somewhere else. It doesn't return to the level that I was expecting, for example, this level. So uh, that makes me suspect that we are under a unit root, but there is also another element here. The other element is that the series um, seems to be quite uh, stable. So this is quite smooth and we see the same thing here and here and here. It's not that it's completely choppy. And the fact that it's smooth uh, makes me wonder if the coefficient, the autoregressive coefficient that is here, is probably close to one, basically assigning this, the previous value plus some uh, random noise. So let's combine those two things. We, we saw that uh, the series is quite stable. Uh, it tends to follow the previous values unless there is a shock. And after we have a shock, the series completely drifts away. So we can confirm that by using the ACF and PCAF. So if we see the ACF here, we can see that the um, ACF is um, fading out rather slowly. Typically, this should be like, like here, and then it should go down in five or six periods. But here we can see that it's, it takes almost uh, 14 periods or, or 15 periods, 14 periods to, to get below the blue lines. So everything within these blue lines is non-significant. So uh, we, can, we can certainly confirm that by using the PCIF. So here we can see that we have most likely an autoregressive process of order one, which is non-stationary. We can see that the correlation between uh, time uh, point and the time point immediately preceding it so this is the first order uh, partial autocorrelation. It's almost one. So there's basically a uh, basically a hundred percent correlation between um, between these two values. So uh, my conclusions here is that we are under a unit root, and typically uh, I would expect that this is generated by a autoregressive process of order one, which has obviously a coefficient of one.